Trevor Peters is in the house. Colin O'Brien, how you doing? Vera is in the house. Jacqueline Lewis. William Delorone. Furious. What's happening? Brett Graham. Bobby's in the house. Bill Must is in the house. Bill Spielberg Must. Donna. Uh, Josette. You guys can hear me or you can't hear me? Oh, okay. <coughs> Buja, you don't have to call me sir, okay? Patty McGuigan is in the house. Kevin Pringle, and Wong, and thanks for everything. You know what I mean, she runs on Passive Nation. Joanne is in the house, Robert Tantulo. Don't stop believing. That was it. You're, you're right. Got it, my dear. Okay. Uh, Julie, we have to, we have to smack Julie around a little bit. <laughs> As people asking her for directions at freaking midnight. Complete strangers. Oh, Julie, what are we going to do with you? Baby face grandmom's in the house. Cedric, the voice of ours. Ruth Pace, Ron Dick Tracy Holbert is here. Todd McIntyre. Uh, I hate when Chris says something. Marty, you rock. Yeah, usually if he starts off something nice, I'm getting slammed in a couple minutes. Uh, but your head is still bigger. Say so he can't. He can only go a little bit, and then he's got to jump to the dark side. Um, okay, thanks, guys. You can hear me. I'm, I'm way behind. There we go. Anyway, um, I'm going to try to get that video posted. As soon as it is, I'll put it in the back office. I'll post it in on Passive Nation. Everyone should see it. Ask came on. Uh, for a little bit, then he got off and he came back on, dropped huge bombs. If people listen to what he's saying and stop going to listen to what you want to hear. This is huge, huge. Stuff he's working on. Uh, digital along with uh, actual things you can hold in your hand maybe. It's a big deal, man. It's a big, big deal. So when I get it up there, make sure you watch it. Peter Sir took notes, and they were awesome. And it was a public video. It was a public uh, place. I told him when he came on that there are some guests there. Marty, Chris Johnson, your underwear is a lot bigger. Yes, uh, to hold your head. Dr. Bill's in the house, Tuesday greeting and after a nice morning walk for an hour. Beautiful. Lynn Johnson, hello. Peter Sir, yeah, he took great notes. Um, looks like working in Area 51. Yeah, and that Strange, the frick is he doing on my underwear drawer? Victor Gumbalade, what's happening, buddy? AJ, Jason Gaynor. How old are you and Chris? Uh, Chris is seven, going on eight. Okay, idiot. Not much older, clown. Norell's in the house. By the way, you get a chance, uh, 
as soon as I get the video back out, everybody will know. Watch it. Really cool stuff. Um, I would also recommend if you have anybody that you want to know about the business, send them to 2 o'clock guest webinar. Red Redford's going to do a slide presentation. You know how good they are. And if anybody wants a copy, I will send it to them. Yeah, well, I drink a lot of coffee, but I'm trying to stay cool, calm, and collected. It doesn't always stay that way. But I know, you know, I mean, a lot, I know a lot of you deal with, what about this, what about that, what happened to here, how come they didn't do this, how come they didn't say this? Um, if people ask you that, they have no idea what they're part of. And stop going to meetings assuming ass is there to please you and give you what you want to hear. He's there to tell you what he needs to tell you. When he brings up a date or a, a thing, oh yeah, it should be sometime July, it should be sometime May. You got to realize when he says some of this stuff, 99% is done. He's pinstriping the car. He's putting new uh, rims on. The car's there, the tire's there, the engine, the automatic transmission, the blower for the engine, the convertible, whatever he wants, most of that is done. It's like little things. It's like tinting the windows and making it, you know, stacking the cools, always doing to a lot of these things that are really, really close. But I can't, listen, I, I have been involved in, I said this yesterday, I have been involved in probably 30 launches of some type international launches united states launches big mega launches they call them. mega super mega 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 super mega and they might have i think the biggest one i saw maybe ten thousand people which is huge you know and we're starting at noon we're starting at noon today right you get in they click the start button and the freaking site crashes so nobody really got in maybe two and when they did get in they were locked and all that okay we're gonna have another one tomorrow at boom they do it again it crashes they're not ready for it that's what's called not prepared for you know the foundation isn't good enough then they do finally get it going and now it's major now it's oh my god tommy made 50 bucks he should have made zero uh susie made two bucks she should have made 80. yeah now you got that now can the company go back and take money that got paid too much no they're not going to give it back so here's all this money out and things aren't working quite right the company made enough to, to break even we're done we'll come back in six months we'll repackage this turd we'll come back and say hey you guys got to see this this is so much better than what we had before same freaking thing there's things going around now. Oh, you got to do this. You got to do that. You got a time limit. Anytime somebody tells you, oh, there's a time limit. You got to do it. And, and there's a countdown clock. It's ridiculous. It's all marketing ploy. It's dumb. Absolutely ridiculous. This company's big. It's real. And that's why you're getting real answers. The real answer is when this thing's ready, it's going to launch. Be ready. You know what's really sad? Half the people, maybe, or even more, when he does say soft launch, blah, 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 they're not going to be ready. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute, I can't get into that email. Oh, I forgot to change my name. Oh, I didn't, you know, stupid stuff. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. Now, we can say all you want, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, and then when it comes, people are going to be walking around like, morons going oh, on i'm not ready i didn't know what happened i don't have my that's what i'm saying it's coming are you ready be ready so and again compounding and leveraging compound your efforts leverage your efforts you can enter this race with one horse two horses three horses or ten horses the more horses you put in, now remember, all the horses win. 
it's a different kind of race. They all win. They all have a grand prize. See, that's the part. That's the part where people lose it. I'm going to wait. I'm going to build customers. You would rather have a customer than a founder? Think about what you're saying. Think about what you're saying. It doesn't make sense. You want the company is going to duplicate every founder. It doesn't know and doesn't care. It, it knows, but it doesn't care that that 10 founders are under Chris Johnson or Tyra. It's going to run them as an independent business, X amount of traffic, the same as all the other businesses. So picture that times 10. And this one gets one customer, this one gets seven, this one gets three, that one gets five, that one gets four, that one gets 20. That one gets... And then, then the autoresponders are kicking in. So this day, this one gets 70, that one gets 110, that one gets 240, that one gets 450. Now, consider the traffic's going, machine learning, people are starting to understand, the autoresponders are kicking in. This one gets 700, that one gets 900, that one gets 2,000. Think about it. We need to think about it. And and don't tolerate don't tolerate negativity. Don't tolerate. Well, I you know I've had people tell me that they deserve. I deserve. I've been in three. You deserve squat. John White's in the house. John and all the people in the barber shop. What's up? <coughs> you don't deserve anything. This is a gift. Take it. Do what you can with it while it's down. I want to tell you what. I have never been in a pre-launch where I never had to pay again one time. And then I got to build an empire. How much are you going to charge me for that? Nothing. Oh, by the way, I'm going to do a soft launch. We're going to build even more. And you might make a little bit of money. And we're not going to charge you for that either. Come on, guys. How much more can ask me for or do? What what else do we need? We should be we should be really really thanking God every day and, and, and asking God to bless ask me for his family. Let me tell you for what he's doing. Because let me tell you, there's days he gets up and by noon or by the afternoon he's walked through coals. Okay, yeah, walked through coals for what? For some of us to go, I can't believe that we're not done yet. You know what I mean? Come on. Yeah, come on. That's just, it's, it's insane. I'm so lucky that people don't come to me like that. And, and they don't because they know they're not going to like the answer I give them. Right? They know, oh, I'm not going there. I'll go here. I'll go complain to this person. I'll go complain. I, don't put up with it. Yeah, but I, I'm not going to be able to pay my rent. This is not a job. It's not a job. So it's not there for that. It's not unemployment. It's not a stimulus package. It's a business that is going to blow your mind when it's ready. And you can't force it to be ready. Oh, I want it to be ready yesterday. It should have been ready six months ago. No, it'll be ready when it's ready. And you will look back when it's all said and done. If it's a beautiful launch, which I believe it will be unbelievable. It will be known worldwide. And you're going to be the proudest mother and father in the planet. Look at this baby that I own. I'm passive. Big deal. Um... Yeah, I'm excited. And then the, what asked, some of the stuff I said last night, I'm like, oh my God. And I know, I'm thinking, man, people aren't even listening. Because they're not hearing what they want to hear. I promise everybody this. When the soft launch is coming, if I know, and, and it's posted, I'm going to make sure everyone knows. But until then, Ask yourself this question. Have I maximized my time during soft launch? Have I maximized my time during soft launch? Here's a good one. 
here's questions we're getting for months, a year, two years. How about if I don't have the money at launch? Is there a grace period? Yeah, there's a damn grace period. It's right now. You know you're going to need somewhere between, somewhere around $250, $300. You know it. You were told it day one. So you're going to start your grace period the day that they soft launch? Or the day they go in the hard launch? What kind of sense does that make? Because remember, if you don't pay, you don't get paid. That's what starts the engine. Oh, I hope they give me six months. Okay, you got six months not to collect anything? Go ahead. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. The keys to this Maserati are the payment when it's due. So you could jump in the car and play go bye-bye, but the car is not going anywhere until you put the key in, which is the payment, to start this engine up. I just don't get people. We're going to get complaints both ways. Some of you need to do, and I'm not talking just directly to you guys, but some of the people on, on, and I'm passing need to do an IQ check. Because something happened. Oh, I wonder how much time I have to pay. You have to pay when they ask you to. It's not like they, you got in and two weeks later said we want X amount of dollars. All of us have plenty of time to save up. If, you, if you've been in this two years and you don't have the money saved up, what makes you think you're going to save it up if there's a six-month grace period? What happened? What's the difference? There's no difference. <coughs> Some of you could have saved 20 bucks a month, right, for the last 10, 12 months and have enough to pay it. 20 bucks a month. Let's do a dollar a day. Let's make it sound simple. You got 10 bucks, save one. Put it in a jar. Just keep doing that. Every day, put a dollar in. You got a pizza? No, we're not getting pizza. I can make freaking goulash for half as much. I'm going to put $5 in. You know why people don't think serious about it? Because they're not taking the business serious. Just take the business serious. I know people are hurt and don't have the money. Look, what you know, I got four grandchildren, my wife's out of work, and I can't work. So don't tell me about launch and soft launch. My point is, I'm going to maximize my time. 168 hours a week for everyone. Keep that in mind. That's all you have. But if you have one more person on your team, you just doubled the 168 hours. Two, you triple three, and, and so on and so on and so on. You wouldn't want three people on your team at launch day getting the same traffic you're getting, getting the same amount of customers in average as you're getting. Because guess what? When your second guy gets traffic, so do you. When you get traffic, your second guy and your third guy gets traffic, so do you. Think about what's going on. I'm not saying, you know, I'm not telling you have to do it. But if you're just waiting, if I had to just wait around and I wasn't doing stuff, that'd drive me insane. I would, I, I can't do it. I can't just sit around and, hmm, one soft launch coming. I mean, it's just freaking ridiculous. I look at time. I look at levers. I look at compound. I want to do... Okay, what can I do today to make on pass it bigger tomorrow? How many of you went to the new blog since Ash asked us to? I did. How many of you made a comment? I did. Why? Because some guy in Orlando, Florida, a stranger to most of us, is building a, a legacy business for everybody here and he asks you one thing go in the community make a post go into the blog and and do a like or make a comment that's all he asked other than that you're in it you win it's the only thing he's asked that i know of in six months 
and everybody else. Did he say anything about the softball? Did he say anything about the softball? You know what's even worse than that? Let's say he mentions the soft launch. They have no one on their team. They don't bring anybody in. They don't make a bonus. We go into hard launch. They have nothing. They go, oh, my God, I wish I had more time. It's ridiculous. It's insanity. you got time right now to save up. you got time to do go mow lawns, cut whatever you cut trees, freaking edge, whatever you can do, get the money now. Hold it aside. Should you share it? Darn right you should. If you don't, it's insane. If you do have the money and you're doing some shiny thing next, you know, oh, I got to do that sounds awesome. It's trash. There's nothing on the internet that you're hearing anyone, I'll tell you right now. And nobody gets more proposals on businesses than I do. No one. There might be people that get the same. Well, I get tons and tons and, oh, man, they look good. But I'm not giving my money to anybody else. And the $97 I did give on Passive back March 1st, 2019, best money I ever spent. I met people. I got to build a, a business, get to help people. And I know the efforts that myself, Mike, and Dan make were building overflow. Every day we build overflow for somebody else. Every single day. Every hour. It's a great feeling to know that I've helped somebody get something. Indirectly or directly. It's a beautiful feeling. But you're the ones going to have to look at, look at Uncle Bob and say, oh, I didn't tell you why. I, I, I thought you would. Oh, you thought I wouldn't want to be a founder of the next freaking Apple company? Thanks. A freaking moron would say no to that. I don't know. I don't know. And think about this. Even if you've got a position for somebody, if you have the money, when it's a winner, when it becomes a winner, and there's money in that account, and you say, Uncle Bob, you know that business? Yeah, you didn't want to do it. I got you a position anyway. Told you I'm not into it. I don't want to. Well, there's a thousand bucks in there. Your first month was already paid, and I still want you to have it. You sure you don't want it? Uncle Bob be shoving down some crow, okay? He be eating a flock of crow. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. So... Brett, I'm not sure. Uh, I believe so. And you guys have to read Brett. If I put this on YouTube, I, I got to watch what I say. But those things that you're talking about, Brett, myself, Mike, and Dan have some. Okay? Just want to tell you that. Great, great positions. And if they get purged, it's too bad. If I had an extra $20,000, I'd buy I'd buy every one I had if I had the money. Because I know what they did. I know what's I know what's under them. I didn't even say it. See, I got away with it. That's how you talk. Yeah, I won't get in trouble. Uh, Ken Pringer, the more you give, the better you feel. Yeah, no doubt. If you... When you give something, you, there's that feeling, right? unless you're a complete sociopath. But when you give something without expecting anything in return, nothing feels better than that. It's like laughing, anything good. It, there's no better feeling than that. None. The heck is that noise? Let me see. I don't know what that is. I get freaking calls. I don't know who it is. Um, so anyway, oh, 106 people. We broke 100 today. Well, what if a person who shared on positive with you decided not to? Exactly. Exactly, Kevin. 
got even I got another one than that. Let's say you share it with someone who shares it with someone who shares it with five hundred people. Just a thought. Just a thought. And it's time. It's it's time for people to get their head surgically removed from the lower extremities of their body. Okay, it's time to. Uh, hello, darkness, my old friend. If you're seeing darkness and you don't get what's going on, your head is somewhere where it doesn't belong. Have someone yank that pig back out. Get back to reality and see what you have. Peter Rogers is in the house. I haven't been looking at the names. I'm sorry. But welcome to everybody. David Switzer, what's up? I know I missed a lot of people. Is Red here? Red, if I missed you, hello. Oh, Roger. Roger Dumlau from uh, Philippines. All right. Joyce Parker's here. Hello, Joyce. There's Lynn Nakamoto. But seriously, um, what is that? I mean, some phone's ringing. I don't know where it's at. Um, what else do we have? Mario, what's up? What happened if you shared this with one man from Papua New Guinea? Good point. Look what happened. I shared it with, with, with David from Papua New Guinea. And guess what? Took me five months to get him to sign up. And let me tell you, I wasn't, I was sending him all the response, just a little bit, like what we call is dripping on him. Trip, trip, trip. And one day he went, oh, I got to look at this stuff. This pain in the butt won't leave me alone, right? He looked at, he called me up and he was, it, it finally hit him, you know, that light bulb moment. He was like, what, wait a minute. Is there a lot of people in Papua New Guinea? You mean in El Paso? Yeah, I said, none that I know of. Oh, wow. This could, this could help my people. And he meant it. And he got in. I made him a Facebook group on Passive Nation, Papua New Guinea. And the rest is history. You guys seen what he's done. And look what they've done with nothing. Running through the jungle, dirt roads. Down canals to go hear the business plan. Come on. And we're going to complain? See, that's why I'm the wrong guy to come to. There's 800 and some thousand people. Go see them. Don't come to me and complain. You don't like it, give me your name and email and I'll get your money back. I can do that. I can do it quick, too. You watch. I had one butt wipe in my business a couple of years ago. He started his crap. And I said, hey, why don't you quit? Obviously, this isn't for you. Why don't you get your money back? I better get my money. I said, you want your money back? Yeah. So oh, I stopped everything. Oh, I, I didn't do anything that day. Nothing but let's get this let's get this guy's money back. And he got it. Boom, that day. So there you go. Hasta la vista, baby. Kiss my butt, kiss his butt, kiss your butt, get out of here. So, some of us are going to feel like crap on how we, re, how we respond to people knowing what we have six months down the road, a year down the road. You're going to look back and say, why did I even put up with that crap? There's going to be many questions going on in your head. Why didn't I share it with so-and-so and so-and-so? Why did I give a bottle and nurse this freaking idiot from wherever? You, it's, it's done. Don't do it. Too many great people here. Work with people that get the vision. Look, none of us know the whole scope of it. But if you open your eyes just to see what is there, that's not enough for you. Here's my point. The people that are complaining the most, what were they doing before they came to Unpassive? Watching TV? Losing money online? I can't think of anything. Watching the news? Uh, 
what were you doing? And don't say you were making money because you weren't. I don't want to put you down, but it's a 97, 98% chance you weren't. So what were you doing? What was, what was your other great deal for your life? Nothing. So stop pretending there was. Be happy you found out about this. Joy unspeakable, okay? Be happy. Thank God. Pray that Ashley Farah can get this thing going smoothly, safely, and that he takes care of himself. That's what we could do. That doesn't cost anything. A couple minutes a day. Watch over this crazy guy down in Orlando, please God, for his own good. Um, don't worry, be happy. There you go. That's a good song. Anyway, 111, 112, nice, nice group today. Thanks for being here. I know I didn't say anything new. I'll try to get that. Let me see if that video is ready. Uh, no issues found. Why'd you say there was? Uh, public. Issue found, your video. I published it. It might be restricted view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the Ask Me Far Apart and do, do two. One with him only. After the music plays. Because it's the music that they're flipping out over, I think. Sucks. Oh, hold on one second. Okay, I just posted it in, on Passive Nation. Uh, what I want to tell you is, <coughs> I'm going to post it in the back office too. Um, I feel real bad. I almost forgot to emphasize this. Julie, great job last night. You are a natural. Guys, you should get her autograph now because we're not going to be able to do it when she's uh, hosting one of these big things in Madison Square Gardens. You know what I mean? So get her signature now. Um, boom, baby. How's that, David? See you on the top, everybody. See you on the top. I love you all. I know it don't sound it sometimes, but i just concerned that we're losing focus and where focus needs to be. That's all. Anyway, I'll see y'all in about an hour. Red Redford's going to kick it up a notch. And if uh, you want to send people there, I would recommend it highly. 
because if they're if they're looking to make money they'll get in after watching red so god bless everybody and i'll see you later